Now, the Jeep Cherokee has been around for a long, long time, and here's your first chance to see the car that replaces the familiar Jeep Cherokee on our streets. And it's this. It's called the Liberty, although only in the United States. At home, it's still going to be called the familiar Jeep Cherokee. And you can see from the style that Chrysler's designers are finally taking style and image over practicality. Now, it should go on sale in the autumn and is influenced from the Jeepster concept we saw a few years ago. Extremely trendy and very different. Remember, this will have to compete with the likes of the Freelander and the new Ford Maverick, which are seen very much as lifestyle machines, sport utility vehicles, as they call them here in the States. It may look slick on top, but underneath it's built to tackle the rough stuff, with three all-new engines packaged to drive the permanent four-wheel drive. And what about the inside? Well, it's very smart and very different. Trevor Creed is vice president of Chrysler's design team. To us, the, 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 the good old Cherokee was great, but it, you know it was, uh, it was introduced originally here in 1983. So it's, it's, it's a little, little bit long in the tooth. And we felt that the opportunity of doing something entirely new uh, and fresh, and not just the styling, the, 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 you know, the, it has independent front suspension, uh, so it's a much better ride. We all know that the, the previous Cherokee had some issues with ride and, and handling. And, um, and, and it's just so much more practical. And of course, it's got a, a decent rear seat and rear seat entry, which the previous one really never had. It, it's OK if you just drive, were a driver, but if you had to take four people with you, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bind getting in and out of the back. While we were looking at the Liberty under the lights of the show, Ken Gibson took to the Detroit streets to find out how good the new Liberty, or Cherokee as it will be called in the UK, really is.